how to install macOS Big Sur on an unsupported Mac. All of this information comes from Barry K. Nathan's Micropatcher page on GitHub. I've simplified the information in this video based on my perspective of installing on a late 2012 MacBook Pro 13 inch. All instructions and links will be in the description, there I will endeavour to keep them updated and add any corrections. If there is something you don't understand, refer back to Barry Kay's GitHub page and other links in the description. Before you start, you'll need a working Mac and two 16GB USB drives. First things first, you need to make an installer for an older version of macOS that's compatible with your Mac. If something goes wrong, you need a way to get your computer going again. Next, you need to download Big Sur. If you have a supported Mac, making the installer will be much easier as you can download the installer through the App Store. On an unsupported Mac, you need to find a direct or third party link. At the time of making this video, I was not able to find a direct link to the release candidate ISO, so I downloaded a beta version. A link for 11.1 .1 release candidate was made available, but it was part of an install assistant package. I'll feature this one in a separate video. For now I'm going to install the beta using Micropatcher. Now we need to format the USB stick, open Disk Utility and click on Show All Devices in the top left. Then Arrays Mac OS Journaled GUID Petition Map. I'm going to call it Install. Next we click on the Big Sur ISO to mount it. Then drag the install app to the applications folder. This will take a few minutes but it will make things easier later. Next we're going to lift a command straight from Apple's how to create a bootable installer page. We'll just scroll down and copy and paste that. Now we edit that line, add the word beta to match the installer. Then we change the last part to the name of the USB. With that done we can open terminal and paste that line in. Press return. Type in our password. Type Y then return again. Then we'll wait. When that's done, open the micropatcher folder and drag micropatcher.sh to the terminal. Do the same with install-setvars.sh. After that, our installer will be patched, ready to go. Now power down your Mac and start it up holding down the Alt key. Select Install Mac OS Big Sur. Select Install Mac OS. Click on Agree, then Agree again. Select your hard drive and finally click Install. The installer will take about an hour or so, so walk away and do something else. When that's finally finished, shut down, restart again, pressing the Alt, this time going to Terminal, and we type in slash volumes image slash volume slash patch dash kets dot sh slash volumes slash your hard disk name. Don't forget to use the tab key to auto complete any volume names. All of this information will be in the video description as well as on Barry KN's GitHub page.
when that's all finished patching, you can exit and restart and you should be good to go. Big Sur runs great on the MacBook Pro 2012. The only problems I've noticed is sometimes the Wi-Fi would drop out and wouldn't connect again. I've ordered a new Bluetooth card which should be more compatible with Big Sur. I'm guessing the patches will improve as it's early days yet. Well that's it, I hope this video was useful to somebody. I'll be uploading another installation video soon using Ben Sover's Patch Sir app. Thanks for watching.